My friends, haven't seen you guys in a couple weeks, but I'm really excited about this follow-up video. We recently did recreating synth tones like your favorite bands, and people really seem to love that video. You know, we did Bring Me the Horizon, Spirit Box, Linkin Park, and all that stuff. So I thought, why don't we do this again for something that makes a lot of sense for our channel? guitar tones like duh so that's what we're going to be going through today some bands i want to go over obviously bring me the horizon i prevail don't think we ever talked about them on the channel bad omens some of my favorite guitar tones right there and currents because absolutely love what it is that they do so these are going to be the ones that we're focusing on today now as we start in the beginning it's going to progressively get harder because we're going to be working with things that we know about these projects um, versus ones that we don't know so much about. One thing that always bothers me about trying to get people's tones is they're so transfixed on having the exact thing that that person has. But what I want this video to be about is showing people how you can get those things with the things you already have instead of having to go out and do all these things. Some of the things they have, I have. Some of the things they have, I don't. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can do. And when it comes to these guitar tones, I'm gonna be dialing these in from scratch. It's not like I went and did this ahead of time and had prepped for it. It's more of a, okay, that's the sound. Let me see if I can recreate it. So we're gonna be doing that together. Hope you guys really like that. So yeah, let's kick it off with Bring Me The Horizon. Gonna see if we can get this Lee Malia tone right on the button. But there's a button I need you guys to push. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and like button if you're enjoying the content that we've been putting out lately. Transition game is still crazy. Okay, so Lee Malia from Bring Me the Horizon. Let's think about what makes a tone like his, right? First off, he's somebody that uses British voicing. No surprise there, they're a British band. So you're gonna be looking at a modded JCM 800. That is the first thing that you would think about with his tone. And also they use British cabinets as well, Marshall cabs, 1960As. That's going to get you really close to that Bring Me The Horizon sound right off rip. But he also likes to use Gibson guitars and Epiphones, but you know, this style. Um, I have a Gibson right here that I'm a big fan of. And just like Lee Malia, one thing we have in common, we like kind of weird Gibsons. This is a weird Gibson. Uh, as you notice, there's no bridge pickup in this guy. It's literally just a, just a shredder. Uh, you plug it in and just let it rip, right? Uh, he tends to go for a humbucker in his bridge slot. And there is a P94 in the neck pickup. And I have another one. This is actually a lefty guitar. Restringing this looks kind of ugly right now, but yes, this is a P94 pickup. And this is an original Gibson Burst Bucker 62. And that's going to be something that's going to help you get there, starting off from the source and your fingers, you know, still got to dial in the amp. And another thing you're going to want to pay attention to is lots of layers. You're not just going to want to, even if it's a single note, you're not just gonna want to ring it out one time, you're going to layer it up a bunch of times and that's what gives that really massive sound that Bring Me The Horizon has had kind of across their last decade of stuff that they put out. So we're gonna go dial that in the doll right now. Let's get to it. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we're going to go through that Bring Me The Horizon tone right now. I'm gonna show you what this DI sounds like without anything. All right. Now I'm going to show you what it would sound like if I was dialing it in. The cabs on this section are already kind of dialed in. So we have it, uh, you know, blended a little bit. They're both from the Marshall cabs, like I was saying. But, you know, condenser U87 style and a 121 on this side, blending that Royer to kind of bring in the low end. And uh, let's see what we can do with this. Right now we got an overdrive on, but I'll show you what it sounds like before that. Really necessary to bring that back.
And yeah, just like that, I uh, think you could use this, Bring Me the Horizon Tone, on just about any album that they have as the last like decade or whatnot. So pretty easy. Get yourself a JCM 800 or JCM 800 styled amps and on to the next one. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that sounds really close to Bring Me the Horizon for me. Next, we're gonna go to Bad Omens. Um, I love what they've been doing. Like a Villain, Just Pretend. I mean, their guitar tones are absolutely phenomenal. And I was thinking, okay, what is it that goes into Jolly's tone? If you remember earlier in the video, I said uh, this would get a little bit harder because at the time it's like, we're starting with something we have a lot of information about. Like Lee Malia's tone, we kind of had all the things to make what it was that he was doing so it made it a little bit easier now with jolly's tone we have something similar so jolly likes to use a fender telecaster uh, much like the one that we have right here this is not an hh configuration like the one that he uses but it does have a humbucker in the bridge and the reason i installed that in this along with the goto bridge is because i was looking for something a little heavier to play and uh, I didn't really want that Fender Telly twang for what I was doing. I remember A.L. Levy recommended me getting this and doing this kind of thing, so shout out to him. But yeah, what does Jolly like to use in Bad Omens? He's big on using a Mesa triple rectifier and Mesa cabinet. So we're going to start there. But what are we gonna use for the demonstration? Um, the closest thing that JST is going to be using that is definitely Tone Forge Jeff Loomis, the rhythm section, which is a Mesa rectifier styled amplifier. And of course we have the cabs, which were made by our good friends at Make Believe Studios. I think this is going to be, uh, it's gonna be kind of simple knowing that much information and being able to just move around the uh, mics on the cab and whatnot. So let's see what we could do with Bad Omens. With their sound, I'm gonna, I messed around with this and I'm not gonna really use a tube screamer where I typically would for a sound like this. We're just gonna start dialing this in, so let's let's get to it. And I'm using uh the Match Cab from JST, which is you know Mesa style, you know. <laughs> Now, if you ask me, pretty bad omens. It has a huge, thick, low end, as well as making sure it has enough gain to drive it. Not really a tube screamer kind of gain, just being driven. There we go. That's what I wanted it to sound like. So there's another one. Uh, did bring me the horizon, did bad omens. I thought that that was a good contrast because first, you know, bring me the horizons using British voicing and bad omens is using American voicing in their stuff which leads to, you know, two very different tonal characteristics. Next up, we're going to be doing currents. And this is one where I wasn't sure exactly what Chris Wiseman was using in this. And some of you may know this, some may not. Uh, Chris Wiseman and I from Currents were in a band um, a while back. It was called The Words We Use, and we played together in that type of thing. And, uh, you know, obviously we've been friends ever since. So I, I called him up and I was like, yo, what's going on in this rig? Cause I want to try and recreate it. Uh, but instead of that, he wanted to let you guys know himself. So without further ado. Hey, this is Chris Wiseman from Currents. My live rig isn't anything crazy, but I'm going to explain it anyways. So I've been using the Aspex Ultra since about 2012. Um, on that, I have the rectifier amp and cab setup. And then for guitars, I've been with Ibanez for the past five years, and I've been getting a lot of good results using either the Fishman or Bare Knuckle pickups. Hope that helps, thanks. All right, well, knowing that, it doesn't sound like it's wildly different from what Bad Omens is doing. I'm gonna start there, and then I'm gonna try and modify it a little bit to be closer to what Currents has, because I feel like there's some slight variances in in the styles. The overall picture is there, but Currents has their own like unique sound. And a lot of that comes from Chris's playing, but we're gonna try and see what we can do by just twisting some knobs now. Here we are with a typical, you know, Mesa 
styled amp with, uh, you know, secret sauce Mesa styled cab here. Sorry, this is the DI, but let me show you that anyways. All right, and now I'm going to dial this guy in. Yeah, when you're looking for this kind of tone, you wanna make sure that it has a good amount of treble and presence. You're gonna, you know, typically cut the mids a little bit. And the bass is actually pretty filling on that on that low end. And depending on what you're gonna do with the actual bass guitar itself, sometimes it's nice to have a little heft down there as long as it's controlled. So that with a, with a Tube Screamer, if you ask me, gives you a pretty current sounding uh, guitar tone. And that's what I would do to dial something like this in. All right, I feel like we're batting three for three right now. Uh, that felt and sounded a lot like Currents. I've been listening to Currents for a really long time. Also a big fan of Shadow of Intent, most of the stuff that Chris does. And like I said, this is getting increasingly harder because I don't have an Axe FX. Um, so I don't have the option of doing that and I'm trying to work with what I have. That's one thing that would make this challenging for anybody, right? Because if you don't have a starting point, then it's really difficult. And that's what brings us to our last thing, I Prevail. Not a ton of information out there about this one. I don't necessarily know what it is that they're using. There's not really rig rundowns of talking about what's going on. But yeah, I thought this would be a really cool test because I have no idea where to start. Just going to cycle through some different amplifiers and try to get something that sounds like uh, like I prevail and then keep pushing along because one of the problems that I notice that people have is when they're trying to match a tone or something they're either stuck on the mindset it has to be the same thing or I have to do it with this one thing that I have and I did say earlier I want you to work with what you have but sometimes you have a few different options and you should cycle through and see which one starts you at the closest point so that's what we're going to do in this one we're going to be trying to recreate an I prevail tone without having to be forced to one simple thing. I wanted to make this pretty well rounded. So this might turn out the way I want. It might not. Like I said, I didn't do this beforehand, but we're going to see how close we can get. So let's get to it. What's interesting about this is we have a feature called DI match and tone forge disruptor and Tyler Smith worked on I prevail. If you go in here, you can actually see that he has some of his profile. So we're going to match our profile or our DI to his DI. And uh, let's see what that entails. And I like to give it just a little bit of a curve. You know, uh, I don't go all the way. Sometimes, sometimes I do, but in this one, I just wanna give it a little bit of a bump because they're not that far off from each other. And now let's dial this thing in.
if you ask me, there we go. Sounds like I prevailed in me. A little bit of help from that DI match feature and then just kind of really pushing the treble on this one um, and dealing with the hunt, kill, and devour controls on this amplifier. If you're using another amp sim, just try to pay attention. Make sure those mids aren't overbearing. You know, you're typically going to dial those back a little bit in a genre like this most of the time. And this one, instead of aiming for the uh, tube screamer, we're just going to push a little bit more on the treble and really got us there with a tone that uh, I think Tyler would be proud of. That was more difficult than I thought it was going to be. And I totally get why people sit there and like lose their mind over guitar tone because it's difficult, right? It's hard. There's no one size fits all. But one thing I do want to say is I feel comfortable and happy with the sound that I got at the end. And you're never going to get the exact same sound as somebody else. Like you're not that person, you're not playing, but you can get in the ballpark, you can get close, you can be inspired by, and then inspire others with what you've created from that point. And I think that is kind of what happens with all guitar tones, you know? Your favorite guitarist, was inspired by another guitarist. And that's just reality. Like, you know, Dino told me at one point that he was really inspired by Eddie Van Halen. And that tone is what he wanted. So that's what he was going for. And if it wasn't for that, then we wouldn't have a tone like Dino's because that's what set him in that direction in that path in the first place. So I'm glad we were able to do this video. I felt like it was a lot of fun and I hope that you guys learned something. So at this point, we can recap what happened. We did Bad Omens, Bring Me the Horizon, Currents, I Prevail, and we've done so far in the series, uh, synths and guitars. If you guys wanna see vocals, if you guys want to see drums, uh, if you wanna see bass, leave it in the comments below and I'll chat with you fine people like I always do.